You are amazing. Start living from the present moment. Breathe deeply. Connect to those electrical grids and those magnetic grids. It's not something new to you. It's something that you know. It's something you've experienced time and time and time again. So yesterday, I was in this old Coptic church in, in downtown Old Cairo. And it was uh, a church that was built on top of this cave where Jesus spent some of his time as a baby. And in this church, they had these bits of wood that were engraved with these 13 emblems. There were 12 of these kind of patterns, these codes in a circle around the outside. And in the middle, you had a cross. Now this cross that was in the middle is the real cross, okay? The 13 patterns, okay, the 12 and the 13, they resemble Jesus and his 12 disciples, okay? Which is the 12 strand DNA template encompassed with the 13. Because whenever you've got 12, it must be encompassed within the sphere. Whether it's Stargate, transmission centers, your multidimensional Merkaba field, the power of 13 is the secret number. Now, I wanna just talk about this cross for a moment because this cross is the real cross where the vertical and the horizontal, they are right bang in the middle. If you look at the, the church is cross, the cross that they say Jesus was crucified on, the cross that you see hanging in churches, you see that the horizontal piece is shorter than the vertical piece and it's not in the center, it's higher up that, that vertical component. Now this cross is the false cross. This cross interferes with your Merkaba field, okay? Whenever we see codes and keys in the space, whether they're in the form of architecture, whether they're written codes or, or, or it's verbal codes that people are transmitting to you, it messes around with your architecture if the codes are false. Now, this cross, the reason it's important to have the vertical and the horizontal bang in the center is because the vertical connects with the top tetrahedron in your Merkaba field. And the horizontal connects with the bottom tetrahedron in your Merkaba field. The top one's male and the bottom one's female. The top tetrahedron, the male one always spins clockwise. And the bottom tetrahedron, the female one, always spins anti-clockwise. Now, when you have the, the two tetrahedrons rotating in opposite directions, the vertical and the horizontal points, which are the staff and the rod, they intersect and they create quantum energy. And this helps create longevity. It helps rejuvenate and replenishes your physical anatomy. It also balances your energetic field. Now the Merkaba is one of the main ways, it's one of the main ways that we are influenced mentally, psychically, energetically. If your Merkaba field isn't spinning and functioning correctly, your field is open for manipulation, for infiltration. But when your, your Merkaba field is primed and it is spinning correctly, then nothing's going to infiltrate your space. When you're running those crystalline diamond light frequencies from the God worlds down through Stargate 12, down through the, the Aramatina gateway, down through your crown, through your body, through your earth star, down into the Earth's magnetic grids, and you're also running those magnetic grids in reverse up into the star grids, and your Merkaba field is 100%, nothing is going to influence you. Nothing is going to sway you. You are going to become unshakable, unfuckwithable, rock solid in your zero point. And so it's important when we're, we're navigating this earthly realm to pay attention to what's around us because not everything is there to serve us. There are many things that are there to serve us, but they're mathematical pieces of code that are embedded within the game. And so you've got to be very still because when you ask good questions, you get good answers. But and if you're not still enough, you're not going to hear the answers to those good questions. So breathe, meditate, live from the zero point, live from a space of stillness and allow yourself to experience reality and pick up the pieces of gold, the clues that we left for ourselves in multiple dimensional fields, experiences that we've had on earth as other beings, as other humans, as Palladians, Palladian Andromedans, as 
other beings that have experienced life on this, this earthly plane for thousands and millions of years we've been leaving clues for our future selves and now we're here in this time space we're waking up consciousness is expanding our frequency is going up and we're starting to realize we're starting to become aware of all these clues we left for ourselves and we're starting to remember the truth and one of these truths is the truth about the power of 13 the Merkaba field and how we can stay in a high frequency and navigate these earthly planes. You are amazing. Start living from the present moment. Breathe deeply. Connect to those electrical grids and those magnetic grids. It's not something new to you. It's something that you know. It's something you've experienced time and time and time again. You might have just forgotten because when we come down into this earthly playing field, our memory gets blank slated and we've got to start from Groundhog Day and remember all over again. But if you're prepared to be devoted, if you're prepared to be focused and committed to this experience, you can regain all this ancient wisdom. It's locked in your computer code, in your DNA. Your DNA is amazing. You can store 35 million hours of high definition video on your DNA, 35,000 terabytes of data. You got all of the knowledge and all of the wisdom inside of you. But you've got to be prepared to take a deep dive, beautiful soul. There is mystery waiting for you. Magic that is ready to light up your world. That God spark, that diamond flame in the center of your chest, which is a multi-dimensional Merkaba field in itself, gives you access to the Garden of Eden, not just on Earth, but all the way back on Avion, Vega, Lyra, Hercules, some of those beautiful high frequency planets that we first incarnated in on four-ish billion years ago when those angelic seventh and eighth dimensional templates came out from source. The seraphim, those angelic beings that came down and that first played around with life forms on other planets and created those lyrans, those avians, those lyran felines, which we all originated from at some point back in our ancestral galactic history. This world is not what you think it is. This world has so much to offer us. I love you so much. We are sisters and we're brothers. We are a human family, we're a soul tribe. We're galactic, galactic giants, galactic Jedis. Back down here on this earth plane, reconnecting, remembering our own divine wisdom. Wherever you are on this planet, beautiful soul, remember to go and check out our website, starmagichealing.org. We got some of the best ascension tools on planet Earth. Hundreds of guided meditations, light language transmissions. We got light codes that will activate your pineal gland, your third eye, your kundalini, your Merkaba field, your whole light body architecture. We've got high frequency nutrition, cosmic yoga videos, mystery school teachings on hundreds of different subjects. We've got private telegram groups so you can connect with beautiful souls just like you on this same ascension mission. Beautiful souls that want to make this world a much better place. So come and connect with us, reconnect with us. And remember to hug your sisters and brothers fiercely and ferociously. Hug them tightly and never, ever, ever be the first to let go. That's the golden rule of hugging. You know that beautiful soul. <laughs> You're amazing. You're extraordinary. You are a superhuman in this physical body. And I love you so much. So, so much. I'll see you again real soon. One love, one heart, one human family. Peace out, beautiful soul. <laughs>